mind and the will? Uh, the sword, we have sword. Yes. All of your answers were right, actually. But for me, the most important one is empathy. Definition of empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. In other words, it makes us able to feel others' emotions. Now, I want to ask you, do you think you can make empathy with someone? Please raise your hand if you think you can. Okay, then here comes the second question. Have you ever hurt someone's feelings? Now, please remember a moment that you hurt someone's feelings. Now, if you remember what you have said to them, think like those words, or words were said to you. Would you still be able to say those words to them? No, right? This is one of empathy's importance in our life. It protects the peace between everyone. And I want to ask you another question. Why do wars occur? Three. Uh, okay, thank you all for your answers. But I think it is all about lack of empathy in the first place. As I said earlier, if there was any empathy in people's hearts, they would think twice with their actions and wouldn't hurt someone just because of their own selfishness. If there was any empathy in us, we would be able to stop any of the wars as a society. But as we can see, we don't have enough of that. I think all of us can agree that as the years passes, the percentage of empathy is getting lower each year. Especially in the teenagers, it is even worse. In the teenage era, you are becoming your true self for the rest of your life, so it is an important time for our society. Shortly before, I talked about the results of lack of empathy, and now we should look to the reasons for lack of empathy. One major culprit is fast-paced, digitally connected world that we live in. With social media, smartphones, and constant distractions, we often find ourselves detached from the other's emotions. It's like we're caught in a whirlwind of our own lives, oblivious to the struggles and achievements of those around us. We, additionally, social pressures and stereotypes can also hinder our ability, empathy. We are bombarded with the messages that emphasize co competition, success at any cost, and the idea that vulnerability is a weakness. This can, for, this can make us forget that Behind every person's achievement, struggles, and smiles, there's a unique story waiting to be heard. But we are not, my friend, because there is hope. We can be the change agent that in back empathy infuse our life and communities. Here are some simple steps to get started. First, let's practice as active listening. What is active listening? When someone sharing their thoughts, feelings, or experiences with us, let's give them our undivided attention put down our homes, make eye contact, and truly engage with what they are saying to us. These simple acts can create a powerful connection and show others that we care. Secondly, let's step outside of our comfort zones. Empathy grows when we expose ourselves to diverse perspectives. Let's seek out opportunity to connect with people who may have different backgrounds, cultures, or beliefs. By embracing diversity, we can expand our capacity for empathy. And finally, let's cultivate a culture of kindness. <coughs> Random acts of kindness have a ripple effect and can touch countless lives. Whether it's a simple smile, a kind word, or lending a helping hand, these small acts can create a domino effect. So let empathy be the driving force behind our endeavors. And remember, even we, as high school students, we have the power to make a difference. By nurturing empathy within ourselves and inspiring, inspiring it in others, we can shape a brighter future. Let's challenge the stereotypes and prejudice that hinder our ability. And let's remember that empathy, empathy is not just about feeling, but also about taking action to make a positive difference in the life of others. Thank you, and may empathy always be your guiding light.